we are in Lakipia um, and this area is quite dry and also it's a dry season. The reason we're choosing this area is that it's quite good for uh, camel herding. Well, I'm Sophie Tingeren and I come from Sweden. And right now I'm doing my master thesis and it's about camel milk and more specific camel milk who have mastitis. Mastitis is, uh, you can say it's bacterial in the milk. And mastitis causes that it, uh, the milk yield gets less. And if it gets a very severe mastitis, that quarter or maybe the whole other start milking completely because it gets so much inflammation in the other. I chose camels because I want to know about more animals than just cows. So I think if you're going to be a good animal scientist, you need to have a broader perspective. And um, just camels is a very wide animal in the world. Um, this is part of a bigger project, which is about three, four years long, uh, which a PhD student is responsible for. But she needed some help from both me and other master students to figure out a few small parts around the project. Uh, so we're helping her and doing our thesis at the same time. My part of this big uh, camel mastitis project is that I come in the morning when the herdsmen do the milking. It's always somewhere between 6.30 and 8.30 in the mornings. In the beginning, I, I start finding out which of the camels have this bacterial. So I do different kind of tests. And after that, when I know which one, which camels who is milking, who also have the mastitis, I choose those ones to do milk yield measurements. And the idea is to choose uh, two quarters where one is healthy, no bacterials, and one is um, less healthy, have more or less bacterials, and to see how much the mastitis one uh, affect the milk yield. If it's 5%, 50% or 80% less milk, or what's going on. This is quite a short study to do something, this, cover this big area as I do, but it's some kind of pilot study. So what I do is to see if it's, if you can see any differences, if you can, this could be the ground or the basis to do maybe a PhD or a bigger project. I expected something completely else when I got here to Impala in Kenya. And I thought, well, after these six weeks I've been here, I could maybe go on a safari for one or two days before I go home. So I at least get to see one or two zebras. Um, but the, the first day when I arrived here, I got to see so many different animals, both zebras and giraffes. And I've been seeing rhinos and elephants and big ticks and different kind of antelopes and hippos. It's, and that's all only on the way to the camel herds and on my way back. Um, so it's not need of any safari after the, this is done. I've seen so much of the wildlife. Um, I got to see so much of different kind of uh, both tribes and people, get to know different words. I got to teach by different people to be able to in a small way communicate. Mm, I try to ask about how different traditions is, why you do things in different ways. Or else I'm very su surprised, happy surprised that I get so much support from the herdsmen, that they are interested, that they want to know what I'm doing uh, and they will want to be part of it. I'm very happy that they helped me so much and giving me so much patience. Yeah. 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 Yeah.